I think it's become a trend now for brands to come up with a single phone, but multiple versions. For instance, Moto with their G6 came up with the G6. They bring, didn't bring out the Pro, but they actually had three versions of it in the international market and two of them in India. And a lot of you have asked for the Moto G6 to be compared to others in the price category as well as the specs category. This is our shootout. Three phones are taking each other head on in the market. The new Motorola G6, which comes at a starting price of 13,999 rupees. The Redmi Note 5 Pro, which also comes at a starting price of 13,999 rupees. And the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1, which starts at 10,999 rupees. All three phones boast of big specifications and good cameras. Well, let's stack them together and see how they fare. Motorola's G6 has a premium finish with the Gorilla Glass 3. The fingerprint scanner that it comes with is located on the front and the back has a dual camera that is in a typical Motorola ring design. The Redmi Note 5 Pro has a sleek finish as well and has a vertical dual camera setup at the back. Even the fingerprint scanner is at the back. The phone is more slippery though. The Zenfone Max Pro M1 is more ordinary to look compared to the other two, but it feels sturdy to hold and use. The Moto G6 has a 5.7-inch Full HD display. The edge-to-edge -edge viewing space is large and adequate. The Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1, on the other hand, is also large with a 5.9-inch Full HD display. The colors are crisp and bright and it compares to a good LCD display. The Redmi Note 5 Pro also has a 5.99-inch screen with Full HD display with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio. The Zenfone display wins here. The proof of the pudding with phones lies in its optics. And none of these three budget phones really disappoint. In fact, the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Moto G6 have the same dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel and a 5 megapixel rear camera. And the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 also has a dual camera with a 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel lens. While the G6 packs in a variety of modes like portrait and spot color, the optics of the Asus Zenfone are slightly better with a good bokeh effect. In the front, the Redmi Note 5 Pro is leaps ahead with a 20 megapixel and an LED flash. The Moto G6 has a 16 megapixel front camera while the Asus lags behind with an 8 megapixel camera. Well, both the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Asus Zen phone have the Snapdragon 636 chips powering it. The phones can handle multiple apps and are smooth to use. One notch behind is the Moto G6 with the Snapdragon 450 chipset. Out of the three, the Zenfone Max Pro M1 wins hands down with a massive 5000 mAh battery. So who wins the budget segment phone game? Well, in terms of looks, the Moto G6 is the most premium looking with a sleek display. It even feels very comfortable to hold and use with Moto's gesture control. But the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 costs the least for the 3GB variant at 10,999 rupees and is the most powerful of the lot with a massive battery and a good chipset powering it. If you want a powerful day-to-day -day phone at this price, then the Zenfone Max Pro M1 is the clear choice.